Good morning, Beach Bums. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we can catch some fish today. Uh, not really sure what I'm after today. I'm just going to see what's going on. Uh, still kind of figuring things out after Nate and after everything's kind of rearranged on the beach. But I left a tackle box at home, so I am at Walmart. I'm about to walk in. I've got to go in and I've got to get some pyramid sinkers. I've got to get some fishing line to tie some leader. And of course, the most important piece is fish bites. Got to have those. I left uh, all of that back at the house and it's about 20 minutes away. But guys, I will see you back on the beach. Hopefully we can hook in some fish and I'll see you out there. Got something on here. Fish on. Little pop, little pompano. He's not gonna be illegal, but first fish of the day. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Can't have that. He's about 10 inches. Pretty fish. I'll take it first day of the first fish of the day. It's pretty rough out here. It's a lot rougher than I anticipated. You see it, bud? No, he's not big enough to keep. So yeah, that's how big mine was. That's about the same size. Yeah. See you, bud. Woo. <laughs> what you got, buddy? Pulling some drag? Here, let's walk with it. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk, let's walk this way. Yeah, yeah, we keep reeling. You're doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. You're doing good, buddy. Keep that line tight. That's a good fish. What is a good vital? Yeah, you might have a red on here. <laughs> yeah, uh, we might be might be getting in these folks. All right, come on, real, 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 real. Oh, oh man, he must have popped off. Another fish on. This one feels pretty decent. Jack Carvel. Oh, you want to go and see how big it is? That's great. What? It's a Jack Carvel. Hey, let's see how big it is. And he's probably like five or six inches. You know, can you have it? I want to hold it. You want to hold it? Can you bring it over to my dad and so I can check how much inches it is? Well, that, there's, there's no need to measure. You, you always like to measure your. <laughs> on, only the good ones. Nah, they're bait. They're good for bait. Got a fish on. Oh, he's jumping. He hit the top. Maybe it's a pompano. Be a pompano. Be a pompano. He's swimming fast. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Where do you go? Where do you go? Whoo! He's going crazy. Yes, sir. That's what we're after. Check that one out. Awesome pompano. Pretty neat, huh? How many inches do you think it is? Uh, I'm gonna guess 13. They gotta be 12. 12 to keep. It's about 12 and a half. You can keep them if you wanted. Yeah. That's what, that's what we like to see right there. Well, I didn't stay out there too long. It was very rough. Uh, as you can see, there's just a lot of breakers the wind is pretty stiff and it, the the uh, swell info forecast had it at about two feet and i know it's hard to tell on camera but uh, these are probably anywhere from three to four foot swells which is usually pretty good usually the fishing is is decent when it's when it's rough i mean you can usually catch some pompano and some redfish but uh, i was struggling it was hard keeping a, a even a four ounce weight in the surf so and the wind was only getting more stiff as the day went on so so i decided to pack it up had a fun time it's always fun on the beach caught uh caught a few pompano got one keeper i'm going to eat it for lunch but maybe i can uh get out here in, in another day or so and, and and add some more to this video I'll see you on the beach again hopefully in the next day or so so just a couple days after i ran into dax and his son fisher on the beach a buddy of mine named Bill came into town and he wanted to do a little bit of surf fishing and it was not conducive. The weather was not great. 
Uh, we are in the middle in these in these two days. We are in the middle of what is seemingly a never-ending east wind, and it's just really making the surf fishing tough. We still wanted to go fishing, so I had an idea. I tried something a little bit different, and I picked up uh, this jig. It's called a gamoku, I think is how you pronounce it, G-O-M-O-K-U jig. And I decided that I would try this because the wind was blowing. It had to be at least 20 miles an hour uh, the day that we were out there on the beach. And so I knew I needed something that I could that I could cast into the wind. And with the surf being as rough as it was, I knew I needed something that I would still be able to get out farther and still be able to have some action in the surf. So I tried this out. I think it's actually for trolling. I'm not really sure, but it looks just like a cigar minnow in my opinion. So this is what I was throwing and we didn't really have a whole lot of success, but I did catch one fish. So I did want to show that to you. Uh, I may try this out again in the future because I had a lot of fun throwing this and I think it would be great for Spanish mackerel and bluefish and ladyfish. So I think there's definitely some applications for this jig in the surf. It may be an unconventional approach, but considering the conditions that we were dealing with uh, this particular day, I think it was a good idea. So I just want to show you a quick clip uh, from this day. These were two days back to back, but just some things that you can do when you're, when you're surf fishing in some rough conditions, just to give you some ideas. <laughs> I got a fish on the jig. It's so rough out here. The wind is crazy. I can't believe I already hooked up on something. Uh, I got to show you guys what I'm using. This is awesome. It's so rough. It feels like a decent fish. It's probably blue, I would, I would guess, like a blue fish. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's a big bluey. That's nice, man. Check it out. Pretty sweet. Right. Second cast. <laughs> Caught a fish. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nah. Despite the weather conditions these couple of days being difficult for surf fishing, I still decided to go and I always like to try new things. I like to see if there's some ways that I can overcome the conditions that we're dealing with. And hopefully some of these things that I attempted these couple of days will help you catch fish even when conditions aren't, aren't the best. Leave a comment below. Let me know some things that you do when conditions are rough and, and not conducive for fishing, whether they be windy or if the surf is rough. Guys, I appreciate everything that you've done so far. Continue to like the videos, continue to share. And if you haven't subscribed again, please feel free to do that now. But guys, as always, stay bummy.